Tuesday night, the Rock Falls gym was packed to see the showdown between the Rockets and Cross River rival Sterling. But this night felt a little bigger than your typical rivalry matchup. The national anthem seemed a little more meaningful. And even the rival Rock Falls student section were there chanting for a Sterling star. Everyone was clapping and giving me a standing ovation and just knowing that putting the rival aside that they can still support me, it was just, it was a really special feeling. And yeah, I was kind of emotional. I thought I might cry, but I didn't, but it was truly special. A truly special moment for a truly special player. Last weekend, Lexi Rodriguez was in Ismalia, Egypt, where instead of playing for the blue and gold of Sterling, she was representing the red, white, and blue of Team USA on the under-18 squad in the World Championships. And they represented those colors well. <laughs> Beating Italy to bring home the gold. Like, unbelievable. I don't even know how to describe it. I just remember when we had game point, I, like, my te my eyes got watery, and, like, just thinking that this might actually happen. And then when it did, it was, it was just crazy. Like, a world championship is insane to think about, and to do it with those girls was amazing. Those emotions traveling from the court to the stands where her mom was watching on. I just cried. I cried like a baby forever, like 10 minutes long. I just couldn't stop. It was everywhere she goes. I feel like she's making little bits of history along her path and just another step in that direction of what her ultimate goal is in the end. So it was very, very exciting to see. All the way across the Atlantic to a Culver's in Galesburg, Illinois, where her Sterling teammates were watching online. 16 kids, 16 phones all cheering and doing all kinds of stuff when during the match and people in Culver's probably thought we were a little out there, but uh, and then she won gold while we were sitting there. It was just awesome. It was just, as a coach, it was just uh, such an honor to be able to watch a kid that you've you know, seen come up from you know six, seven years old with a passion for the game and a love for the game that has done everything the right way to be able to achieve something so great. Something that had never been done before. Rodriguez and her teammates gold medal was the first time ever that an American team brought home a gold in any gender or any age group in the sport. I don't even know if it still has set in that I'm the first team that's won, but the exact moment it was just complete happiness and joy and just that we made history and it's always fun to make history. I didn't cry, some people did, but I think I was just taking it all in at the moment and like I couldn't stop smiling because it was just a, such a cool thing getting to have this medal like put around me and being able to um, just like stand up there for USA and raise like our arms and celebrate was amazing. A smile that Rodriguez carries on her face anytime she's on the volleyball court. The junior says she loves the game and wishes she could play it every second of every day. And now the state champ and gold medalist is definitely a role model for future volleyball players all around the area. There were several junior high tournaments in different areas and they all were wearing red, white and blue bows and they sent her like, you know, snaps and YouTube things like representing, you know, Lexi's representing USA, we're representing Lexi with the, the colors of the bows and that's, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade kids that are invested in what she is doing, just bringing um, a passion to the game. It's funny because even her niece was at, my niece, her cousin was at her house the other day and this is someone who she's been around forever and she was like looking at her like she was like a star or something. We're like, it's just Lexi. So it is a little different. It's really cool though. In Sterling. I've always had dreams and goals and I knew that in my head if I worked hard enough I could reach them, but you don't really realize like how special it is until it actually happens. Kevin Core, KWQC TV6 News.